Hello and welcome to the year 9, year 10, 2023 subject selection uh, information session. Uh, my name's Chris Bringen, I'm the Director of Operations here and I'll just run you through some of the key elements for subject selection for year 9 and year 10 next year. Uh, first thing I'll draw your attention to is the curriculum guides. Uh, these are written by our departments at our school and they're meant to give you a lot more information uh, just about what subjects are going to be about, what's studied in them um, and you'll find some of that information on the next slide. So you'll have, uh, these will be located in the student cafe and parent lounge. Uh, when you're looking through there, you just follow the, um, once you've logged in, you can navigate through to the school links, find the curriculum button, uh, and then you should be able to select uh, the relevant curriculum guide for your student for next year, whether it's year nine or year 10. Uh, the information presented in these slides, there's all the subjects are offered, uh, it tells you all the different, different subjects are there, what's being studied in that subject, maybe what units of study they do. Sometimes they're split into two different units um, and also what type of assessment they might be looking at, whether it's maybe a performance-based thing like the one on the screen talking about drama, maybe it's a practical thing they're doing in, um, maybe like ag science or something like that. Uh, it'll just sort of give you a bit of an idea what that student will expect to do as they study this course. Uh, also, just something to put up uh, just to make mention of is just up in the top right hand corner it also lists whether or not it's an elective subject or a core subject and also will say if it's a semester based or a year long subject so if it's year long it normally means that the student will study that for the whole year if it's a semester based subject then they'll study that for six months. Uh, year 9, what does Year 9 look like for next year? I'll go through Year 9 and Year 10 separately, uh, just because they are quite different. Uh, so I'll go through the Year 9 one first, uh, just looking at what's the different types of core and elective subjects. So uh, Year 9s are made up of a mixture of core and electives. So if you have a look here, the core subjects will be Math, Science, English and Humanities. They are all year long um, and uh, students will choose uh, those four automatically. Um, when they when they do their selections. They will also then be asked to choose their HPE and electives. So they must they must list HPE as one of their electives. Um, they can either do HPE or they can do Aspire. If they choose to do Aspire, Aspire will run over semester one and semester two. So it will count for a whole um, year as a year long subject, but there is an opportunity for students to do that. Um, there's also then other electives that they can choose as well. So you can see here they can choose to do visual art, media, drama, dance, business, law, etc. Whole range of subjects there and these are all semester based. So they must do, the minimum requirement is one semester of HPE and they can then have three other electives or if they're doing Aspire they can have two aspiring and then two electives. So it depends on what, what they'd like to do. Whenever we do electives, we always remind the students to please make sure they choose their, um, put their electives in in order of preference. So the most important one they would want to do, the second important one they'd want to, et cetera, please list them in order. Um, and then when they get to their reserves, again, think about their reserves, don't just pick something to tick a box, but make sure that they really put some thought into it, because sometimes we do have to allocate reserves. Um, so, you know, it's very important that they do understand, that, you know, the subjects they put in uh, are definitely options that they might, might want to study. The year 10 structure is slightly different. Uh, maths, the, these are all year long subjects. That's probably the main difference between nine and 10. Uh, 10, obviously we're trying to get them ready for senior where they're basically picking those subjects for two years. Uh, these are, are year, -long, year long electives that they'll be picking in this one. So your core subjects will be math, science and English. They're all the ones that you know, students have to, have to take in year 10. Once you get into the electives, uh, there's three, um, electives that they will choose. Uh, they can also have two reserve options here as well. 
And again, once again, it's important to list them in order of preference. So what's the most important one? They, you know, if, if they don't get anything else, what would they really like to do as preference number one, preference number two, preference number three, and then choose two electives, two reserves as electives that they would like to do. And uh, again, they can do HP. It's not compulsory to do HP in year 10, uh, but so there's aspiring athletes options. There's, uh, again, you can see the range there on the screen. Uh, but also if you, if you go to our curriculum guide, all of these subjects are listed in there and students can find out more information about what they would possibly uh, be doing in those subjects. All right, so with the uh, making actually actual subject selections, what we will be doing is uh, you'll be receiving, your student would have received probably in uh, on the 4th of August, the day we had the careers expo, they should have received an email from Select My Subjects. Uh, and on that email, there's a link or a web preferences access guide. You can, they can click on that and that'll have all their login details. There's also a link there. If they click on the link, the link should take them straight through to where they need to go for their, for their preferences. Uh, what they do is just follow the process as outlined in that email. Um, if you didn't receive an email, they just need to come and chat with the curriculum office. Sometimes it ends up in students', uh, students junk box or, or junk files in the email, but they definitely should have received that email. Uh, once they finish, the one thing I will point out is they, when they, once they select their subjects, they hit proceed, and then at the end they must press the submit valid preferences. Uh, once they've done that, then the preferences are registered. They time and date stamp them, uh, and they're registered in in the system uh, for for uh, for us to then use and look at creating their timetable for next year. Uh, the subject selection date. The due date for this is Friday the 19th of August, so they get around about two and a, two and a bit weeks to, to complete. Students can change their subjects up to 20 times or change their mind on their preferences up to 20 times. So even though they lock it in on the, the first day, Thursday, Friday, basically we've allowed enough, they could submit a new preference every day for the next two weeks and they still wouldn't use up the 20 times. So you can change subjects, like they might, you know, do some research, talk to some teachers, talk to a curriculum leader and find out that, you know, what a subject's about to help inform their decisions. If they do that, like I said, they can change it. Once they're locked in, they just go back in, find that email, follow the login process and resubmit over the top of the old old, uh, old existing uh, preferences that they had. So look, all, please, if you do have any problems with um, logging into their subject selection, please contact the curriculum office. We're only too happy to, to assist in this process. So uh, thank you very much for listening and I hope this has made the process uh, a little bit more easier to understand. Thank you very much.